Belize is a country of natural beauty. It's the world's second largest barrier reef, a deep jungle full of howler monkeys and jaguars, mountain pine forests, and palm-lined beaches. Aside from jungles, it's also filled with rivers, caverns, and palm-lined beaches that you can stroll around. But even if nature was the first thing that hooked you, the country is also full of ancient historical sites with adventure-like activities. Keep watching to find a destination you'll find yourself longing for a return visit even before your first one is over. Number 1. Ambergris K The largest of Belize's more than 400 Ks and a popular tourist destination, laid-back Ambergris K is located just off the tip of the Yucatan Peninsula. On this island is the famous Hole Shan Marine Reserve, which you can visit if snorkeling and diving are on your bucket list. One of the seven reserves in the Belize Barrier Reef system, which is the second largest in the world after Australia's Great Barrier Reef, it is named after the Mayan word meaning small cut. In the reserve, there's also the Cat's Eye Sinkhole, a cleft in the reef with steep coral walls, and Shark Ray Alley, where divers can get up close and personal with nurse sharks and southern stingrays are among the top attractions. There's also the island's main town, a fishing village called San Pedro, which is full of colorful cardboard, stray dogs, and even clucking chickens. Number 2. Lighthouse Reef Atoll Lighthouse Reef Atoll, the most remote of Belize's three atolls, is a diver and nature enthusiast's paradise. With sparkling white sand beaches, coconut trees, and intriguing coral formations, this island is encircled by a blue lagoon. The well-known Great Blue Hole is a natural monument and a UNESCO World Heritage Site and is considered the best spot to visit in this area. Because of its size, the enormous sea sinkhole can be observed from space. You can also take a dive to witness the strange limestone stalactites sticking out from the cliff sides and if you're lucky, the local school of reef sharks. If you have the money, a helicopter trip is another option for viewing the natural wonder from above. Number 3. Placencia Peninsula Placencia is a well-known fishing community and beach resort located at the tip of a 26-kilometer long sandy peninsula. Visitors flock here to soak up the sun on some of Belize's greatest beaches, enjoy the top-notch dining options, fish, kayak the lagoon, or even dive and snorkel in the Silt Cays Marine Reserve. There are brightly colored clapboard homes perched on stilts lining the village's winding concrete walkway, which was once used by fishermen to cart fish. Close to Placencia is the Laughing Bird Cay National Park, a protected area of the Belize Barrier Reef Reserve system. Popular activities include swimming, snorkeling, sea kayaking, and diving. There's also the traditional Garifuna village of Saint Bite, and this village offers a glimpse into Amerindian and African heritage. This town frequently holds festivities with traditional dancing and drumming. You may arrange a trip on the Monkey River through the mangroves from Placencia to observe birds, howler monkeys, and crocodiles. Number 4. Turniff Islands Atoll Turniff Islands Atoll includes more than 200 mangrove islands encircling a lagoon, making it a haven for divers and fishers. There are three atoll reefs in the waters of Belize. Here, there are crystalline flats, creeks, and lagoons, among other seascapes. The atoll is a nursery for many different marine species, including grouper, snapper, and trunkfish, and the waters are known to sparkle with corals. The renowned bonefish, which draws saltwater fly fishing aficionados from all over the world to the atoll, are also found there. Particularly, the broad flats on the atoll's eastern side are perfect for snorkeling in the shallows or casting a fly line. The majority of the hotels in the atoll are fishing and diving lodges. Turnef Flats is a well-liked choice if you're trying to decide where to stay in Belize specifically for these activities. Additionally, you can take a day trip from K Kalker, Ambergris K, or Belize City to visit. Number 5. Coxcomb Basin Wildlife Sanctuary and Jaguar Preserve for lovers of nature, Coxcomb Wildlife Sanctuary is a paradise. Although sightings of the cats are uncommon, the area's mountainous tropical jungle is home to an astounding variety of species, including jaguars, ocelots, 
pumas, anteaters, tapirs, monkeys, and snakes. Because the area contains documented sightings of more than 300 avian species, including toucans and scarlet macaws, bird watchers will also enjoy it here. The large network of trails is the greatest way to discover the refuge. With a waterfall and swimming hole, one of the most well-liked trails is the Waterfall Trail. Ben's Bluff Trail is more difficult but rewards hikers with beautiful basin views, while the strenuous Tiger Fern Trail leads to a stunning double waterfall. There are also guided tours offered here. Make sure to pack plenty of water and wear protective gear. Number 6. K. Calker K. Calker is well liked by backpackers, visitors on a budget, and anyone who enjoys a laid back atmosphere since it is bursting with charm. The primary modes of transportation for sightseeing through the sandy streets, where dozing dogs have the right of way and inhabitants crank up reggae music, are golf carts and bikes. K. Kulker is located about 24 kilometers south of Ambergris K, and lodging options are often more basic and less expensive. One of the welcoming guest houses on the island is where many tourists stay. Hurricane Hattie split the island in half in 1961, producing the Split, which is currently a tiny public beach. In the north side of the Split, there are fewer people and less development. Visitors come here to unwind entirely. But don't anticipate the idyllic soft sand beaches because turtle grass is frequently seen along the shoreline. But you can typically locate a good stretch of white sand where you can unwind. Number 7. Lamanai Archaeological Reserve Lamanai is the most well-known archaeological site in northern Belize and one of its greatest ceremonial centers. It lies tucked away in a beautiful jungle on the banks of the New River. In one of the Mayan languages, Lamanai means submerged crocodile. The crocodile pictures have been discovered on figurines, ceramics, and buildings that have been unearthed. The journey there is an adventure in and of itself. The deep jungle and frequent wildlife sightings on the hour-long boat voyage up the New River give these unexplored remains a wild atmosphere. Highlights there are the Mask Temple, the Temple of the Jaguar, and the High Temple, which visitors are welcome to climb for panoramic jungle views. Number 8. Mountain Pine Ridge Forest Reserve To the tropical humidity of the shore, the Mountain Pine Ridge Forest Reserve provides a calming contrast. This area's greater elevation provides a welcome relief from bugs and mild midday temps. One of the best free activities in Belize is hiking through the pine forests. Despite the pine beetle's recent devastation of many of the trees, you can explore flowing rivers, waterfalls, pools, and caverns. The Rio Frio Cave, formerly a Maya burial site, is one of the reserve's greatest attractions. Stalactite structures, freshwater ponds, and waterfalls can be seen inside. The Five Sisters Falls have five cascades that plunge into a stunning basin. Visit Rio on pools for a cool plunge. A series of pools made from granite rocks are connected by little waterfalls, and after a swim, you can enjoy some sunbathing on the rock slabs. Number 9. The Cayo District's Archaeological Site some of Belize's most important archaeological sites are located in the lush Cayo district in western Belize. One of the most well-known historical sites is Zunan Tunic, which is set on a limestone ridge overlooking the Mopan River. El Pilar is one of Belize's greatest archaeological sites, although excavation didn't start there until 1993, therefore very little is known about its past. On the extensive system of nature trails, you can explore the remains and the surrounding jungle. You might have the location to yourself since it hasn't yet attracted the attention of the majority of travelers. The well-known Cajal Peck archaeological site, located close to San Ignacio, is a tiny but good museum. You can examine more than 30 structures there. And number 10, the Belize Zoo. Want to take a quick vacation and visit some of Belize's most fascinating wildlife? Visit the Belize Zoo on your agenda. This well-known attraction founded in 1983 is a sanctuary for wild animals used in documentaries, has a strong emphasis on conservation and instruction. 
more than 45 distinct native species, the majority of which are rescue animals, can be seen in their natural habitats at this wonderful location. Among the local inhabitants are tapirs, toucans, howler monkeys, and the fascinating spider monkeys. Big cat enthusiasts can also witness all five of Belize's wildcats, including jaguars. This is a fantastic starting point for your Belize sightseeing if you want to encounter some of the wonderful species there. The most well-liked day trips from Belize City are to this destination. Belize is a stunning Caribbean getaway where visitors can unwind on white sand beaches, dive in the largest barrier reef in the Western Hemisphere, hike through the lush jungle, and explore ancient Mayan ruins all in one trip. It is one of the last unspoiled places on Earth and is located just south of Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula. Which of these places do you want to visit first? Also, check out this other video if you want to visit Granada. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more of our top 10 prime picks.